Radio has also lost one of its most distinctive and influential voices. Legendary rock and roll disc jockey Wolfman Jack died yesterday of a heart attack. Mark Shearer looks back on his career. No rock and roll! Wolfman Jack, with his trademark howl and deep gravelly voice, was one of America's most popular syndicated disc jockeys. Born in 1938 in New York City, Bobby Smith spent his teenage years in Brooklyn. After a one-year course at the National Academy of Broadcasting in Washington, D.C., he landed his first job in Newport News, Virginia. But it was a Mexican radio station that put him on the map. Broadcasting at five times the power of any American station, XCRS sent the sounds of Wolfman Jack into most of the United States in the 1960s. Took over this big 250,000 watt radio station and was able to broadcast to America and uh, in the middle of the night doing, hey baby, this is the Wolf Band, we're going to get crazy here with you tonight. In 1973, a young filmmaker, George Lucas, cast Wolfman Jack as himself in American Graffiti, a tale of one night in the lives of a group of California teenagers in the early 60s. His fans finally had a face to go with the voice of the Wolfman. Yeah. And the places he talks about that he's been, the things he's seen, and there's a great big beautiful world out there. And here I sit, sucking on popsicles. With a syndicated radio show and a TV job hosting a rock concert series called The Midnight Special, Wolfman Jack's fame soared in the 70s. A song about him called Clap for the Wolfman by the Guess Who was a top 10 hit in 1974. He was proud he helped get mainstream radio airplay for many black R&B artists, and he considered himself a professional life of the party. I like to call it the happiness business. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, man. But I like to bring folks joy, and I like to have a good time. I know folks like to be with somebody who's having a good time. You sure as hell don't want to be with somebody who's having a bad day. Have Mercy, Wolfman Jack's autobiography, had just been published, and he had just returned to his home in Belvedere, North Carolina, after a book promotion tour when he died of a heart attack. Wolfman Jack was 57.